And now, when you think of the world's top football leagues, you normally think of England, Spain perhaps, but in recent times, China's top clubs have been splashing the cash, so much so that the government has now set a cap on how much clubs can spend on players and their salaries. Earlier this week, Shanghai SIPG signed the Brazilian Oscar for $75 million from the English club Chelsea. Last month, the Argentinian, Carlos Tevez, became the highest paid player in the world after he signed for Shanghai Shenhua for around $760,000 a week. Well, those signings are likely to be a thing of the past after China's sports authority told clubs to invest more in local youth football rather than expensive players, foreign players. Well, for more on this, Kevin Maguire, uh, Kieran Maguire rather, joins us live. He's a football finance specialist at the University of Liverpool. Uh, Kieran, thank you very much for joining us on Money Talks. Just want to talk about the leadership here in China. The president, Xi Jinping, is a huge fan of football. Are you surprised that the government wants to bring in these caps? It does seem a little bit strange because initially the, the Chinese government were very keen for China to become a major player in the world game. Uh, President Xi wants to host the World Cup and, and to do that I think China needs to move up the FIFA rankings. It's currently rank, ranked just above the Faroe Islands which doesn't really give it a lot of credibility. So therefore there's this contrast between the government saying one thing in terms of developing the game and making it popular as a global sport uh, and the other in terms of restraining expenditure. Well it's very interesting that <laughs> A country of well over a billion people is just above the Faroe Islands. What do you put that down to? Well, China traditionally has been uh, it's, it's been a country where sport has tended to be individual in nature, uh, and also they're very keen on sports such as basketball and table tennis. Football hasn't been seen amongst parents uh, as as a, as a decent career for their offspring. And in a country where you're restricted to one child, there's a lot of parental pressure for for children to carry on in terms of their education. And many parents feel that by going into football, um, that their, their children would be going into something which isn't going to generate uh, income for the family. But do you think it will move towards the European model where people see just how much uh, huge fortunes that the footballers are, play, uh, are making playing football uh, and that'll push people to put their kids into football? I, th I think in the in the medium term it will, um, especially if there's seen to be government uh, encouragement of this. President Xi has said that they want to invest in huge numbers of pitches uh, and also improve the coaching. Now, one way of doing that is to bring in uh, superstars from elsewhere in the world, and that will allow Chinese clubs to increase their credibility. If you do that, then all of a sudden, then the children and the parents both become interested in the game, and as a consequence, I think that the game will take off to a greater extent. Kieran Maguire, thank you very much for joining us on Money Talks.